A new study defies everything we've known about dark matter so far. Is the dark matter the legitimate reason behind the workings of the universe? If yes, why don't we have more information about it a century later? We know that even with a solid dark matter theory, some scientists had their suspicions. Thus, an alternate theory to dark matter was devised. But both these theories, time and again, have failed to explain the unknown. What is credible then? Is there a better explanation to the century-old question? Let's dig deeper to find out. Dark matter has been a fundamental part of cosmology since 1933. It has been a hypothetical answer to many theories of the universe and space. Here's how it came into existence. In 1933, the Swiss-American astronomer Fritz Wicke made an astounding observation about galaxy clusters, particularly the Coma Cluster. He discovered that the galaxy clusters were held together by an unknown mass. By calculating the masses of the galaxies in the Coma Cluster, he observed that the speed by which the galaxy clusters moved was not adding to their collective mass. Because the speed of a galaxy cluster depends on the total mass of the galaxies in that cluster, by this virtue, the galaxy cluster couldn't move at the existing speed based on its collective mass. It was moving way too fast. This revelation gave birth to the concept of dark matter, or as Fritz Zwicky called it, dunkle materie. Dark matter is the unknown mass in the universe that supports the fast rotation of the galaxies, galaxy clusters and stars. To shed more light on the topic, we refer to the study of American astronomer Vera Rubin in the late 1970s. Dr. Vera Rubin found out that the speed of the stars in a galaxy was similar regardless of its orbit. Let us explain. Like our solar system, the stars in different galaxies rotate in an orbit. We know that the planets closer to the Sun rotate faster than those rotating at a distance. This means the closer a planet is to the Sun, the faster it rotates in its orbit due to the higher effect of gravity. The farther ones have a lesser pool of gravity. Therefore, they move slower in comparison. But according to Dr. Rubin's research, the same theory was not true for the galaxies. She observed that the stars did not just move fast near the galaxy's core, but also in the far ends. Referring back to scientist Fritz Zwicky, we know it isn't possible given the existing mass of the galaxies. The mass was insufficient to maintain the stars at the speed they were moving. According to Dr. Rubin, the visible mass was only one-tenth of the existing mass. This confirms the existence of dark matter, a hidden mass that supports the stars and galaxies' movements in the universe. Once the concept of dark matter was established, the research began left, right and center to determine what constituted it. What researchers found out was not just relevant then, but still stays true. Dark matter is not made up of any known particle, nor does it react to the electromagnetic force or other standard particles through which we can infer its properties. It is made up of non-baryonic elements, those that are not yet detected in labs or other experiments. Most scientists think that dark matter is made up of WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, particles that are 10 to 100 times larger than a proton but do not interact with normal or known matter. Another candidate for dark matter is the massive astrophysical compact halo object, MACHO. These objects are composed of ordinary matter but are invisible because they emit little to no light. The next sound explanation suggests that dark matter consists of axions, low mass, slow moving particles that don't have a charge and only interact weakly with other matter, which makes them difficult, but not impossible to detect. Finally, dark matter could be made of sterile neutrinos, 
Sterile neutrinos are hypothetical particles, interact only through gravity, and not any of the other fundamental interactions of the standard model. All the assumptions about dark matter have been tested through various experiments, like the CREST cryogenic rare event search with superconducting thermometers experiment, the Lux Zeppelin experiment, the Dark Energy Survey, DES, the Xenon Dark Matter Experiment, the Axion Dark Matter Experiment. Unfortunately, all these experiments have yielded no significant results or proof of dark matter. So, what else can explain the unknown mass around the galaxies? Gravity, but not gravity as we know it. The modified version is also known as MOND, Modified Newtonian Dynamics. MOND suggests the discrepancy could be resolved if the gravitational force experienced by a star in the outer regions of a galaxy was proportional to the square of its centripetal acceleration, as opposed to the centripetal acceleration itself, as in Newton's second law. Alternatively, if gravitational force varied inversely with the radius directly, as opposed to with the inverse square of the radius, as in Newton's law of gravity. Mond departs from Newton's laws at extremely small accelerations characteristic of the outer regions of galaxies and the intergalaxy forces within galaxy clusters, but which are far below anything encountered in the solar system or on Earth. Ultimately, Mond suggests that gravity is at play in determining the speed of stars and galaxies. What do you think is at play here? dark matter or modified Newtonian dynamics. Let us give you more clarity. Some theories suggest dark matter as the answer, while some conclude the MOND model is accurate. According to Sabine Hossenfelder, a German theoretical physicist, both are used interchangeably. And the surprising fact is that science doesn't forbid it. It is permissible to use either hypothesis to explain a theory. Here's why. Dark matter suggests that there's a new particle, whereas modified gravity suggests that there's a new field out there. This is interesting because, according to quantum mechanics, fields are particles, and particles are fields, making them the same thing in theory. But the difference lies in their behavior. The behavior is what differentiates particles and fields and the scale of their effect on galaxies and galaxy clusters. One of the reasons for Mond's lack of popularity is that it isn't a field theory. Electromagnetism, relativity, quantum theory, and others all treat physical quantities as fields, allowing physicists to apply all sorts of modern mathematical analysis. Since Mond isn't a field theory, it lacks the kind of global structure that puts it on a level playing field. But there is a variant of Mond known as a qual, which stands for a quadratic Lagrangian. The predictions of Equal are slightly different from Mond, but Equal is a field theory, so it's popular with dark matter contrarians. Although Equal isn't popular in the scientific community, it is a valid testable model. Most of the predictions it makes are also made by dark matter models, but there are a few that differ. One of them is that the rotation curve of a galaxy should have a kink in it as the Mond effect becomes more dominant. And in 2022, this was seen in more than 100 galaxies. Now, a study of binary stars seems to confirm Aquil again. Finding no advancements in the dark matter theory can be frustrating, but the silver lining is that we are closer to finding the truth by the power of elimination. That means knowing something to be untrue can often lead to discovering what isn't. So, spacers, what do we think about dark matter? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video, and please comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us, and see you next video.